Today we are going to navigate how to take a bus in Seoul, the Gangnam style way. Gangnam being the busiest financial shopping and entertainment district has one of the most abundant bus stops that takes you everywhere in Seoul and in Seoul suburbs. Let's navigate together how to use the different types of buses and on how to read bus stop signs. This is the main Gangnam district area as you can see the bus stops are numerous and each bus stop has different destination options. This is what a regular bus stop with seats look like. It has the station name, numeric ID, bus route, map, and bus types. Board shows each bus arrival timings, name of the previous bus stop, the bus stop with numerical ID, and the name of the next bus stop. Meaning of two color terms. In red Chungnyu, the bus has ended its route. In orange Chaoguji, the last bus is coming. Other signs indicate minutes of buses arrival, date, and the time of the day. This is for the seated bus stop. For standing bus stops, these signs help organize the queue line. Specifically for the red express buses that drives to Seoul suburb areas known as Gyeonggi-do area. Here in the middle of the transaction road, there are bus stops. Buses in Seoul are classified by four major color types. Blue travels on major roads and run for relatively long distances. Green travel shorter distances and carry travelers between transfer points such as subway station and longer bus road. Red are express buses that travel from Seoul to suburban areas. Yellow buses known as tour buses are the least common operate on a closed circuit within Seoul. Gangnam in particular runs all these types of buses as one of the major districts in Seoul. Seoul also operates night bus routes with service from midnight until 6 a.m. the following morning and stands for night. The bus maps and ID number along with the maps are both in Korean and major must-know information are provided also in English. If you take closer look to this map, the major stations or bus stops are provided in both Korean and English. Gangnam has three roads in the same street for bus stops. Each side across the street and in the middle of the transaction road. Therefore, it is very important to check the numerical ID along with the name of the bus stops. The stickers on each bus stop shows that it is not allowed to get open foods or drinks unless they are sealed in food containers or in tumblers for drinks. Also, each bus has stickers of the stops that it passes through. All buses also provide the free Wi-Fi and the, for the express red bus, has the price tag for it runs to Seoul subregions. If you are on the side of the street, these queue lines are common specifically for red express buses. Now get your T-Money card ready to get a ride and see inside the bus. Buses are clean and disinfected regularly, has two doors and different types of seats. Entrance door has card machine, cash or coin box for payment next to the bus driver. Exit door has two card machines for easy exit to click refund, hence T-Money is the best recommended. Handlers and stands are provided to help you stand while the bus is running and no seats available. Pink color seats are priority seats for elderly, children or pregnant women. Each seat has a button for you to press on your designated bus stop. While standing, always hold the handles or stands for your safety. Make sure to pass your card on the machine to get tea money refunded. Use the exit door when leaving the bus. And hope you enjoyed learning how to ride the public bus system. The Gangnam Style Way.